Hi there everyone. Today we are going to be doing a Blender quick tip video. Um, I was asked how uh, you move around when you're on a laptop and you don't have a mouse. Um, I am on my desktop right now. I do have a uh, laptop but unfortunately I don't have all my recording uh, software and stuff on that laptop so I'm going to go ahead and use my um, my Wacom tablet to show you guys how to uh, move around and um, it's it's fairly simple but it's a little bit different than if you have a mouse um, I, I do suggest that if you do have a couple extra dollars you could get a pretty cheap mouse on like amazon.com or or eBay or something like that for just a couple bucks um, it's a whole lot easier to move around here inside a blender but if you don't have the money for that I will show you what you should go ahead and do so you need to go up to file user preferences actually yeah go up to file user preferences and I'll just go ahead and full screen this and depending on the last one that you used um, up here, which most likely will probably be add-ons or maybe themes. Um, that's the one that it'll open up to. But you need to go into input. And my setup, I select with the uh, the left click. I don't like the regular select with right click. It always throws me off. And I tried for quite a while to get used to it inside of Blender. And I just can't. <laughs> and I don't like it. So yours probably will say right click, but just click on select with left click and then on a um, let me see if I can zoom this stuff in so you can see it okay and then um, if you're on a laptop and you just have your laptop mouse pad then you should click on emulate three button mouse and then if you don't have a num keypad the num keypad is the I mean you have the numbers up top of your keyboard but the num keypad is a separate number pad and most of the time um, depending on what type of keyboard you have but if you just have a standard uh, keyboard um, this is on the American keyboards anyways your numpad uh, will most likely be on the far right hand side of your keyboard and um, so I use that a lot because it's just easier for me it's for quick navigation inside of blender and so if you want to do that and you don't have that and you want to turn your top number keys in on your keyboard into the numpad, you just click here and it says main one to zero keys act like the numpad ones useful for laptops. You'll just want to click on that. And then that way you could, you could have one uh, and three and five and seven and um, all that on your number keypad. And... You'll want to, if you're not going to have a mouse for a while, you'll just want to click on save user settings. That way you don't, every time you open uh, Blender, you don't have to go through all this again. You just click on save user settings. And I'll go ahead and close that out now. And um, let me jump over here to my mouse pad over here. Oops. And where is, there it is. Sorry about that. So on your um, tablet, I have a little note system set up over here. Um, to emulate the three button mouse click on yours, all you need to do is uh, you just go to your um, alt and left click. You have to click Alt and then left click on your uh, mouse pad and then drag around to move around. And so you just Alt and left click and then you'll be able to move around just like this on your number keypad. And then to zoom in, it's uh, Control and Alt and left click to zoom in and out. And then to pan around, it is Shift and Alt to pan back and forth. So we'll go through that again. Um, so Alt, 
and then left click and then pan around and then control alt and left click and then on your mouse pad you move your mouse to zoom in and out and then shift and alt to go ahead and pan around so that's pretty simple and then now you can use your number keys there's one and then five to go into orthographic mode and <coughs> then three to go into right and then seven to go in the top. And then if you hold down control and you press seven, you could go to the bottom. Control press three, you could go to the left. Control plus one, you could go to the back. Um, so it, it's it's pretty simple to do. Um, just if you don't have a mouse pad, it's just a little bit more work to go ahead and, because um, you have to click some extra keys go ahead and move around but that's how you go ahead and move around um, without a mouse on your laptop so I hope this little blender quick tip helped uh, you guys out for the people that have uh, a just a mouse pad on their laptop and that is all that you need to do and then you'll be uh, going again you can follow tutorials and all that good stuff so I hope you guys like this please like and subscribe and have a great day thank you